Hey guys, this is Echo. I am here at Earth Lodge today. Very, very excited to use the studio space to film some yoga for you guys. I've got a beautiful background of Antigua behind me and volcanoes, and we are actually on an avocado farm. So I've got avocados falling all behind me. It's very hard to concentrate. We just want to go eat guacamole. But anyways, we're going to do yoga for travelers. And so when I say yoga for travelers this morning, you know, have you ever been on one of those long bus rides or spent your day in the airport and your body just feels completely compressed and contracted? Um, I know I felt that way. I took a 12 hour bus ride to get here two days ago that was quite brutal on my body and I still haven't fully revamped from it. So in a way, I'm practicing this for myself, but also for you. Um, but yeah, just allow yourself to slowly unwind and unfurl the body and let go of any adhesions and the fascial network and just find some more free movement in your body after those long, stressful trips. So we will start our practice standing today. So if you wanna meet me at the top of your mat, all right, so standing at the top of your mat, press the feet into the earth, unroll the shoulders, and take a nice smooth inhale through the nostrils, exhale, sigh out of the mouth. And again, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And slowly just begin to shake the body. So we're just going to move from side to side. So we might feel a little silly, but we're just allowing the body to shake. You can twist. You can let your arms flare from side to side. We're just getting a little bit of fluidity here in the joints. I'm just allowing things to be shaken up a bit. So we might have been sitting for a long time. Get your wrist in there. So shake the fingers out. You can slowly bring the hands up. Bring the hands above you. You might feel like a crazy little dancing <laughs> Texan here. <laughs> Again, just flicking the hands up and down. Then maybe jump up and down a little bit. So you might feel really silly. But we're gonna just turn our hips from side to side. Might even travel up the length of the mats. Don't take yourself too seriously here. And full body here. So hands up, jumping a bit. Get the blood flowing. Turn the hips from side to side. And come back to standing. All right. Ground down to the feet. Allow the shoulders to relax. How does the heart feel in the chest? Open the eyes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open the heart space by cactusing the arms, pressing the chest forward. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, round the upper back, palms together. And exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, cactus. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands overhead, clasp the hands behind the skull, and open the heart space, slight bend in the knees, find a back bend here. So feel the front of the rib cage spread open, nice strength and length along the belly. And we're just letting go of any adhesions along the front line here. So bringing some blood flow into the front of the body, getting the heart rate going. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Lengthen the back of the legs. Fold in towards the shin. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, come up halfway. 
And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, halfway. Pause here, pull the belly in, keep breathing, press down through the feet, lengthen the back of the legs, feel the whole back line lengthen here. Take another inhale. And exhale, fold down to the earth, plant the hands, step back to a plank position. So press down through the palms, slight rounding of the upper back so you can feel the sides of your body moving up, slight rounding of the upper back. Breathe here. Press it down firmly through the entire palm. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower only halfway or maybe not even half. Bend the elbows in close to the sides of the ribs. Inhale forward to the tops of the feet. Keep the thighs lifted. Open the chest. Pause here. Get a nice front line stretch through the belly and the heart space. Take an inhale. And an exhale, slowly bring the hips up as you tuck the toes under. Press the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Create that V shape with the body. You can let a sigh out on the exhale. And take the feet up one step and a little bit wider. <clears throat> Let the head drop down and bring the left hand to the outside of the right calf or the right ankle. So we're twisting under the body towards the right, getting a twist in the belly and getting some shoulder strength here. So if we've been sitting for a long time, our muscles might need to re-engage, turn back on. Sometimes for me, it feels like I'm atrophying so that I'm losing my muscles as I sit on these long journeys. Bring the left hand down. Right hand to the outside of the left calf, left ankle. Feel that stretch in the right shoulder. Strength through the left shoulder. And set the right hand down. Walk the hands towards the feet. Take your feet about as wide as the yoga mat and slowly sink the hips down. Yogi squat. <clears throat> All right, hands to heart center. So if the hips are feeling nice and tight from sitting, this might feel quite intense. If you're on the tiptoes and you can't get the heels down, bring something underneath the seat so you can have a block. You can even lift up halfway if this is quite intense. If you are low, use the elbows to press the knees open, open the heart space. Spine is nice and long here. So we're doing that full body strength and length. So here we're opening our hips, we're opening up through the front line, and finding some grounding as well through the feet. So a lot of energy is being moved around the body. Bring hands down to the earth. Inhale, walk back out, and then lift the hips back up. Downward facing dog with wide legs. Bring the thumbs to touch, and coming a little bit more forward, let the shoulders Relax, let the head drop down and really press the hips up nice and high. So we're gonna get some full length through the side bodies. You might feel this really, really long through the back of the legs. And then bring the big toes to touch, normal distance from the hands, about shoulder width distance apart. And bring the right foot forward between the hands. Keep the left toes tucked here. Bring that left foot back nice and long. Peel the chest open, sink the hips a bit. Take an inhale, lift the hips up, straighten the right leg, fold in towards the right shin. Take another inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, bend the right knee, open the chest. Let that left hip sink. On the exhale, straighten the right leg out, fold in. Inhale, bend and open. And exhale, straighten and fold in. Inhale. And exhale. You can stay on the fingertips if you need. Inhale once again. And 
and exhale. Very good. Inhale. This time, let the lower knee, the lower knee, let the left knee lower and reach the arms up. So low lunge, take an inhale, pause here. Another inhale. And an exhale, bring the right hand down the right side. So you could just hug it in or bring it to a block or the floor. And then you're gonna reach the left arm up and over towards the right side. So you sink deeper into the right knee, dropping in, get that length through the left quad and a side stretch to the left side of the body. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands around the right foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Pause here. Slight dropping in of the hips. Look forward. Take an inhale. And take an exhale. Take an inhale. And exhale, straighten the left leg, fold in. Inhale, bend the left knee, open the chest. The right knee hovers here, get the quad stretch. Exhale, fold in as you straighten the left leg. Inhale, bend the left knee, open the chest. And exhale, straighten the left leg, fold in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale, come forward. Drop the right knee, reach the arms up, low lunge. Take an inhale. And exhale, left hand down the left side of the body, right arm stretching up. Get that lateral stretch through the right side, opening up through the lateral meridian. One more breath. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to downward facing dog. Same thing we did before. Take the feet wider than the hips and slowly walk the hands back towards the feet, folding in nice and deep here. <clears throat> so feel the back line stretch here through the back of the legs. Take an inhale, come up halfway onto the fingertips and exhale, bend the knees slowly. So slowly begin to drop the hips as you keep the chest open, sink the hips down, hands to heart, yogi squat. So opening into the hips again. So we've been working with the frontal line of the body, working back and forth here. So getting a stretch through the quads, getting a stretch through the hamstrings. But now we're getting into the hips, so into that abduction. So working with all the planes that are moving through the body. So especially after long trips, it's important to not just move in one direction. We want to be, we want to be a bit universal here in the body. Bring the hands down to the earth, walk them forward, and come back into that downward facing dog. Bring the big toes to touch. And take an inhale, come forward to a plank position. Exhale, come down halfway once again, elbows in by the ribs. Inhale, slide forward to the tops of the feet, open the heart space, complete front line stretch. Exhale, strengthen by using the core to draw the hips up, roll the toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up behind you. Exhale, bend the right knee, stack the right hip open over the left. So again, into the hips, working into that abdu abduction. You can stay here or you can slowly begin to flip over. So bringing the right foot down behind you by bending the left knee. Right arm reaches forward. I've got a lovely friend that's distracting me in the yoga studio in a very beautiful way. So I'm appreciative. Take an inhale. 
<laughs> take an exhale, right hand to the earth. There's a beautiful red fairy running around. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee. Stack the left hip open over the right. Hmm. Staying here or bringing that left foot down behind you. Reach the left arm forward. Nice open chest. Really press down through the right hand to find some strength here through the right shoulder. Get a nice full frontal line stretch through the belly. Take an inhale. And exhale, left hand down to the earth. Flip back over, left foot to meet the right. Downward facing dog. Inhale, we move forward to the plank. Exhale, bend the elbows. Come down halfway. Inhale to the tops of the feet. Open the heart space. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Let's take three rounds of breath. And sigh out of the mouth. And down to the knees. And come into tabletop position. So a cat and cow here, just to get a little bit more fluidity in the spine. Take an inhale, allow the belly to drop. Look forward, open the chest. On the exhale, slight bend in the elbows, rounding the upper back, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward, slight bend of the elbows. Exhale, round back through, rounding the upper back, chin to chest. Inhale, down. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to a neutral position. So getting a little bit more back bending here before the end of our practice. Send the right leg to the back here. Floating in the air, toes tucked under. Reach the left arm forward. So feeling the belly pull in towards the spine, engaging through the core. We find some strength here and balance. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the right knee back behind you. Reach back with the left hand. Try to take a hold of the right foot. Once you reach it, press into the left hand. Open the heart space. Keep the chest lifted. Two breaths. Inhale, lengthen back out. And exhale, set everything back down. Let's do the other side. <clears throat> Inhale, lift the left leg back behind you. Reach the right arm forward, straight line of energy from the fingers towards the front, back through the left heel. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, reach the right hand back. Press in to the right hand through the left foot. Keep the chest lifted. Press strongly through the left palm. Two breaths. Inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, set it back down. Tuck the toes under and sit back towards the heels. So we're coming into a toe squat. Make sure even the pinky toe is tucked under. <clears throat> and sit up nice and tall. This is probably going to bring some heat into the tops of the feet, into the ankles, but stay with it. Allow the shoulders to relax down the back. Keep the chest open. And take an inhale, bring the thumbs together and reach the arms up. Find a slight back bend. Breathe here. Take another inhale. And exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Bring the hands back down to the thighs. Lift up onto the knees and bring the hands to the lower back, fingers tracking down or wrapping around the sides of the body. Take an inhale as the shoulders pull that back and find a slight back bend, looking up towards the ceiling. Try not to press the hips too far forward, but really pressing the chest up and back. 
and maybe bringing the hands down to the heels. If they're not getting there this morning, this afternoon, this evening, it's fine. Keep the chest open. You can keep the neck engaged by looking forward or you can let it drop back. Inhale, come back up, hands to the hips, and sit back onto the heels. Let the knees go wide, <clears throat> stretch the arms out in front of you, and we come into our final pose, child's pose. So forehead comes down to the earth. And let the arms outstretch, get nice length through the back line. Massage the forehead from side to side. And stay here for as long as you need. But when you're ready, slowly begin to peel the chest back up. Coming back up into the present moment. Hands come together at heart center. Shut the eyes down for a moment. And just giving yourself a little bit of peace and gratitude for showing up on your yoga mat today, for doing something kind for your body after a long journey. Bring thumbs between eyebrow center, bowing down towards the earth that supports you and gives you that freedom of movement and travel. We say namaste. Thank you guys for joining me on the yoga mat today for Yoga for Travel. If you are like me and traveling on some really interesting buses or some long flights, I know that your body will feel a little bit of love for you showing up on the yoga mat today. So definitely give yourself a pat on the back for being present and mindful of your movement and your breath. If you'd like to take more classes with me, you can head over to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com backslash Echo Giselle Widmer. Uh, you can also find trainings and retreats with me at www.echoflowyoga.com and adventures with myself and the Red Fairy that you saw running around the yoga studio today um, at echo underscore around the world on Instagram. So hope to see you somewhere in the world, real in 3D. But if not, until then, keep unrolling your yoga mats and practicing and flowing and finding your own ease Cheers.